And Vivrich just ran out three of the Australians. And now we have David Hooks in. He is facing Andy Roberts, the man who laid him out in that super test and put him out of cricket for weeks. And he's coming in at three for 26. A fair chance of one or two really hot bounces here. It's the first just offline and the reaction from Hooks. Bit of a job for Douglas Sang New here because I'm quite sure Kai Boyd said to Andy Roberts, give him three or four real beauties. And that one was a beauty, but it was just a fraction wide. Safe. And four runs. We wouldn't mark it down as the most convincing shot of the day. Fortunate for Hooks, and it was a very short ball, but he was cramped. He's flashed over the top of third slip. And hardly moved his feet at all. So enough edge to send it away for a very valuable four runs. Two men deep on the onside for the bouncer. Hooks attempts to hook it away, and he does that. He just gets it forward a square leg. Got enough bat onto that to throw it away. Another spin, a fine throw, but Hooks under pressure. He'll probably test him with the bounce and then push that one across towards the slips, hoping for the edge. Short delivery. It's an air chance. Could be six or out at six. He's hit a bowl over the head of the man at deep backward square leg. That was the boy from five wide. The hooks inside quickly. The crowd loving every minute of this contest. Took the chance, David Hooks. What a fantastic shot say my heart was in my mouth as he went for that hook shot he got it right off the middle of the bat not perfectly balanced back live now six again he's hit that one that's a better shot that was a glorious shot that one that was hooked forward of the square gun for the ball before he was caught out of position but that one was a great shot from a young man making a comeback Look at that crowd, they're loving it. 15 runs off the over from Andy Roberts. Two magnificent hits from this young man. I must say, I've seen most of it in my time on cricket fields all over the world, but those two shots were two of the most exciting moments I've ever seen. A young lad cleaned up by Andy Roberts just a couple of months ago, coming out again and wearing a safety helmet and picking him up for two glorious sixes. The first one, perhaps a little bit out of position and off balance, but the second one, one of the great shots you would ever see. Wayne Daniel, the big chapel, driving straight. There's runs there for him. A roar from the crowd. They're alive now as Julian gives chase. Could be four, it's rolling. Four runs. Beautifully timed off drive. This big crowd. Join the challenge thrown down by Hooks and now Greg Chapel. Press box in uh, the coronation stand. Tony Coates have settled into a great line and length to the left-handers, and of course it makes it very difficult for the Australians to push the ball away and score freely. For David Hooks, there's two men down there in the deep. There's one square. This will be very close. The throw is good. It's wide. <laughs> A good throw, and that would have been very, very close. The throw was wide to Peter Webb. Webb made the dive, but Hooks made his ground, but there wouldn't have been much in it if it had been a bail throw. Well, unfortunately, not an accurate throw, and he was in. There's no doubt about that. He'd slid, and slid the bat across the line and uh, in. And uh, I think Lance, Lance Cairns was all that happy about that. I think he either thought that uh, the ball should have been thrown in quicker or obviously more accurate. Australia closing the gap and they haven't hit a boundary in 16 overs so it's been good running between the wickets. Good placement. There's Howarth. He's as keen as mustard. It's in the air and it's safe. That's what Australia needed and it's racing out to the cover boundary. Just cleared cover. Possibly the top of Howard's fingers. 
and raced away for four to David Hooks. Well, a couple of shots like this off David Hooks, especially off the uh, medium pace at Coney uh, and Australia, right back in the game. Hooks uh, deciding to dispatch the fuller length ball and pick the gap beautifully. Cleared half by a good two feet. This time he sweeps and he sweeps fine down the Chatfield. Now the pressure starts to mount for the New Zealand fieldsman. We're aware that Jeremy Coney is showing the strain. Chatfield, Richard Hadley, John Wright. Hooks facing Sneddon. Close, big shout. Probably just pitched outside the leg stump, but that was very close. Cut to straightened up. Definitely pitched outside leg, that one. It's worth an appeal, but uh, certainly not out. A good decision by Peter Connell. And a uh, lot of pressure on him then because there was a very, very heavy appeal from the New Zealanders. Hooks faces Chatfield. He's picked this one up. That's six. That's a big hit. That's over one line. That's six all the way. Brings up the 50 partnership between Vessels and Hooks. And look at that crowd go wild. Maybe something along those lines. <laughs> he picked it up beautifully and uh, saw the ball picks up around leg stump, followed through, and uh, you won't see a sweeter hitter of the ball anywhere in cricket than David Hooks' game. Where there's a huge gap. Hooks is going to be the first one to get it. That was exactly the spot for Hooks to hit that steepling six just a few overs ago. Well, he's gone for it again, that's high, and coming down the ground, he's hit that spare and square in the middle, it's just over the line, and it's another six for David Hooks. Well, he didn't hit that one quite as well as the previous six, but he hit it well. Out, to mid-off, and to short extra cover. That's a little outside edge, they'll get to for this, once again, Ken's coming around. That was a nicely placed, delicate little shot there by hooks which collected two that was most unexpected everyone was expecting hooks to unleash a terrific hit instead of which he just glides the ball delicately down through the slips towards the deep third man fence and give cans a long run he's hit that in the air and it's going way down towards the deep extra cover boundary one bounce over the rope for four that's well placed by david hooks there's a man down there but he hit it straight enough to get through the field I think the Hooks now is really going to chance his arm against the medium paces. This is his opportunity. He opens the face of his bat, and away it goes over deep extra cover. Now, can he keep it away from the fieldsman when he lofts it? Really aiming towards that big gap down the ground. At... 